Hello, good morning. We're going to be talking today about how to transform um, AutoCAD drawings to have the same coordinate system as Revit. This is assuming that you've set up a project where your AutoCAD coordinate system does not match what your um, Revit coordinate system is. And so here we have brought in a architectural model here on the bottom, and you can see that it does not match the um, coordinate system that our DWG is, um, is, is set up with. And so we'll first talk about the um, two possible causes of this. And the very first cause has to do with uh, improper um, settings in um, uh, Revit itself um, when you're exporting. So um, for whatever reason, my 3D view appears to be set up incorrectly in here, but we'll go to my, my ground floor plan. So we take a look at our Revit model here. And um, first you wanna turn on your site base points. And so you just come down here to um, go to visibility graphics and then just go to site and turn on project base point as well as survey points. Um, here we can see the um, project base point is right here. It has a angle applied to it for true north. We'll talk about that more later. Um, and then way out here, we'll see the site plan is like miles away, um, all the way over here. So um, when you export your model, um, typically what you're going to want to be doing um, when, you, when you're first starting a project is you typically want to export your floor plan or if your architect gives it to you, they're going to give you a floor plan. It's pretty important that you know how they set up their project, um, or sorry, set up their export. And so um, if they're going to give you this floor plan in, in AutoCAD, the way that they do that is they come up here to file, export, and then they use this CAD format um, and they export to DWG. First, you want to come down here to options though and you want to check the... Um, the units and coordinates, and there's there's two options. There's project internal and there's shared. Um, you should probably read up on the coordinate system for Revit to better understand this, um, but essentially this is project base point. You do not have an option to actually export from project base point. Um, your options are either shared, which is gonna be that site coordinate that we saw way up there, or it's going to be project internal. Um, project internal is actually hidden. You can't actually see it. The only way you can find out where it is is by um, right clicking on your project base points, unclipping it and hitting to move startup location. Notice that it didn't move right there. And that means that's telling me that um, this is already um, at project internal. Um, read up on the coordinate system to better understand that. But essentially um, now when I export this, I know I want my setting to be um, project internal for my coordinate system export and not site. Why not? And, and the reason why I don't want it to be site is because the site is some 10 miles north or, or whatever it is. Um, so when you do this, you're then going to get a, um, a point in CAD. We'll just bring this over here. Um, you'll, you'll then get this in CAD. And so if you do a line from zero, zero, you'll see that it's exactly where that um, uh, project base point is, um, as well as the, the internal um, base point is. Um, so exactly how we would expect it in CAD. Um, you would then, with that being said, you would then start um, modeling all of your 3D equipment um, in CAD um, using this overlay here to keep the coordinate system um, exact. So for example, um, we have these chillers here and we're bringing these chillers into, um, at, the, at the end of it, we're gonna bring it into um, a, a compiled uh, DWG that just has all of our equipment as XREFs. And um, so, uh, but you, you can see here that the coordinate system was not set up correct. So the way that I'm explaining it right now, if you've done it like this, when you I brought everything into Navisworks, instead of it looking like um, this, where they're, they're not lined up, um, if, if you did it how I just said, it would all be lined up. So, so one of the causes of, of not having the same coordinate system is um, your settings on export. That's, that's the other option. And then in a moment here, we'll talk about the other, the other possible cause. Um, but if we do, if we check the coordinate system here, on where these were um, set up, we can see that um, this this project internal, or sorry, this this zero zero is actually um, over here, which um, it's only 200 feet away. So I know that it can't be the same uh, site uh, survey site base point from Revit. That was the other coordinate system we talked about. Um, I know that it can't be that because it's just too close. So then I started asking myself, oh, where did this actually come from? Where did this this base point actually come from? And so that will, um, that, that is then where I, I figured out that we actually have um, more going on than just uh, a single error. And so what actually happened was instead of the engineer um, exporting the 
floor plans and everything from um, that specific building. The building that we're talking about right here is this one. Instead of him going into the Revit model for this building and exporting it, he had actually come into the civil plan and exported everything in here all at once. And so um, his the, the um, zero zero point that we just saw a moment ago in that, that Schiller's drawing, um, it is actually this point right here. Um, it's actually not the, it's actually project internal, which if again, we just move this to project internal, for whatever reason, we can't see it, but I know that it is someplace right here. Um, regardless, I, I don't want to confuse anybody, so we'll just um, bring that back. But um, we'll talk about how you can actually um, just fix this. And uh, so to do that, um, you first want to start with going to your, um, however you're bringing in your architectural model in here, you want to open that up in Revit and you want to export a floor plan. And so um, when we do that, we got this. And so um, we'll then come over here to where we have our um, master equipment and I'm going to load in a floor plan on this um, so specifically when he exported everything we also got a 3d model of the structure so this isn't going to match um, the floor plan exactly like for example I'm going to try to grab a point on the stairwell right here uh, we'll see um, here uh, it's it's the geometry is a little bit different but for the most part it should work just fine um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here we're going to draw a line from zero zero and again, it's on our uh, project internal that we got from Revit. And I'm going to go to a common object here. And so that line is now um, at zero, zero and goes to a common point. We'll do a copy base at zero, zero. And then we'll come into where we have um, all of our equipment. So right, what, right now I've, I've brought all of our equipment into this master model. And um, we're then gonna do a paste and we'll do it at zero, zero. And we'll see that that is way over here. And so then we're gonna find the zero, zero of this drawing. So you don't actually need to know, um, to correct this, you don't actually need to know where the, uh, how the court system was even set up for any of these DWGs. Um, all you need to know is where it's zero, zero is, which is pretty, pretty easy to figure out uh, just using that line command. And then again, I will take this and I will go to the same point. Uh, I'll make sure that I turn off snapping here just because I don't want to get anything in the z-axis. So I'm just going to go to this corner right here. And so these, so, and again, my zero, zero points right here. So then it's pretty straightforward from here on out. Minus a few things. Rotations are going to be the very tricky part. And we'll talk about um, the rotations here in a moment. Um, but all you do is you then do a move commands from... Um, this point over to this point and you have just transformed the recording system correctly and accurately um, however we will see that uh, this has a rotation applied to it but when we look at the floor plan there is no rotation applied to it the reason for this is because in revit the um, project base point the um, project base point has a um, our view here is set up to um, show uh, Project North, I believe, is, is the correct terminology, not True North. So if I come over here, I can actually change this to show True North instead of Project North. And now it's got a rotation applied to it, just like my um, just like my, my DWGs do. And so when we click on this Project North here, we can see that this has been rotated 352 degrees. Um, so um, with that, you would then think that you could just come in here and just rotate um, this by 352 degrees and um, when we do that we'll see that that is um, not the case it is not that straightforward um, for for uh, 90 percent of instances on this this will work um, the issue here is that this um, the coordinate system was set up in a nested civil rabbit model um, so it's a little bit more tricky we'll, we'll talk about that more in a moment but you can see there that that rotation did not fix my drawing which then um, I then I then realize that it's a it's a nested rotation of sorts, and so um, we'll undo that, and we'll come back here to Revit. And and something that I should explain is um, if you had exported this from the shared coordinate system, um, which is the proper terminology, or that that site um, that site survey point that's way up here to the north, um, it is my understanding, this guy, it's my understanding that. Um, 
if you export from that point, everything will come and rotate it. If you export from project internal, it will not come and rotate it. Um, so that's just a key difference. Um, if you read up on the Revit coordinate system, there's um, an article, um, it's like 12 or 13 tips on Revit. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll link it um, in this video. And if you read that, there's there's a section just on rotations here that, that tells you the, the nuances associated with that. So it, it is good to be um, familiar with the nuances there. Um, but what I what I figured out was is, is that the rotation, uh, since that 352 didn't work, I knew that then, um, since it actually came from this drawing, um, I probably needed to rotate it by um, this coordinate system's rotation. And then I did that and it was still off. And then I figured out um, that the uh, since this project already had a rotation applied to it in its Revit model, and then this also has a rotation applied to it here, um, I simply did. So this one is 355. The other one is 352. And so the delta from 355 to 360 is 5. The delta here is eight, and I simply took the difference between the two that comes that results in three. So then I just did three sixty minus three gives you three fifty seven, and once I rotated it by three fifty seven, then it was perfect. So you have a little bit of a, a nested rotation in there, um, and so once we do that, and um, I save everything, um, it's all going to come into Navis works perfectly. You've just aligned your coordinate system, and um, uh, you're, you're good to go. Um, next, we'll talk about, um, uh, we'll take this a few steps further, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop worrying about this for the time being um, and show you that if you need to actually transform the, the coordinate system for each one of your drawings throughout your entire project, um, here's a script to do that. Um, the only caveat or, or nuance or thing you should be aware of with this script is that um, this SS git, if you're not familiar with Autolisp, this is an Autolisp command that you load in through app load. This SS git right here um, gets everything, including xrefs. So typically, you don't actually want to transform xrefs. There are ways to filter out xrefs, um, but I'm not going to address that right now. But essentially, if you um, if you watch my other video on how to transform coordinate systems in AutoCAD only, um, you could use this script and you could run it across all your drawings using a um, script generator. So um, I'll also attach that. Um, you would take uh, my script generator, you would plug in this Lisp command. So the Lisp command here is um, coordinate trans, there's chord trans. Um, if, you, if you just plug all that in, then um, you can run that across a whole subset of drawings. And so the script generator that I'm talking about is this one. Um, if you're wondering why I'm even mentioning the script generator, um, in order to run a script, um, or sorry, a Lisp routine across um, multiple drawings at once, it actually has to be a script file. Um, Lisp is local to the file you're actually working in. So if we um, take this starter function here, I just copy and paste this over here. What you'll see is, is that when I put this script generated function in here and I call the um, commands for my Lisp routine, which is this one right here, core trans, I hit enter. It's first gonna ask you for which drawings you wanna apply this to. You hit add and then you hit okay. And then it will run the, um, that, that script routine across all those drawings that will open up each one of them individually. And so you're able to actually correct an entire, um, uh, uh, the entire project directory um, in, you know, under an hour, for example, um, versus doing it manually. Um, so again, this has been how to correct your coordinate system in um, AutoCAD to ma better match um, the coordinate system in Revit. And we talked about the um, several file options that can um, or export options in Revit that can uh, mess this up. Additionally, you should also be aware of file options in Navisworks. And to look at those, we just go to File Options and we come over here to File Readers. And so if you're importing your Revit files natively, um, you also want to come over here to Revit and check how your court system is set up to come in. Is it project internal or is it shared? And make sure whatever you're doing, um, one aligns with um, what you want. So we took a look at the court system in Revit and we um, quickly saw that the site site plan was, um, site base point was, uh, you know, a mile plus north. Um, we probably don't want to use that. We want to use um, uh, something that's going to be closer, like our project base point. And so because of that, I'm going to set it to project internal. Um, again, read up on the Revit coordinate system to better understand um, the difference between project internal, project base point, and the site survey point. Um, 
So check this, make sure it matches um, how you have set up your um, floor plan exports. And if you do all this, you should have coordinate systems that perfectly match.